number 78. Using Lewis structures, write balanced equations for the following reactions. And then we have this reaction right here. So we have H3O plus plus CH3 minus. And we have to find out what the products are. Well, we can get, you know, the products from using our Lewis structures. So we have to draw them. But that's going to re be a refresher. We've spent a whole chapter, I think it's chapter 7, um, designated on just drawing Lewis structures. So if you need a more foundational background, just go back to that chapter just to see the specifics. But as far as this one, I wrote down the balance electrons here, which we're going to be using in this problem. So let's start off with H3O+. Remember, hydrogen can't be in the middle, so it has to be oxygen surrounded by the three hydrogen. So we have oxygen like this, and three hydrogen surrounding it. So one, two, three. Let's start drawing out our valence electrons. So for each hydrogen, there's one electron. So one, two, and three. For each oxygen, there's a total of six valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But this plus means that the compound lost one electron. So you just have to get rid of one electron here. So what I'm going to do is I see that this oxygen has one that is like not paired up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that one. And these two I'm just going to center over here. One, two. Now let's single bond it up. And if we do that, we see that everybody has the octet rule. Right? Hydrogen only wants to have that one bond, and oxygen has the octet. And if we did the formal charge to see who specifically had the positive, it's the oxygen, right? The oxygen lost the one electron. So I could just put a positive here. Now this is being plused with CH3 minus. So it's kind of the same, right? Carbon in the middle now, surrounded by three hydrogen. So C in the middle, surrounded by three H's, one, two, and three. And we have still one, two, three, right? One each for hydrogen. And carbon has four valence electron. One, two, three, four. But this minus means that you gained one electron. So I'm going to put it on the carbon. I see that this one isn't really paired up. So I'm just going to put a, you know, a, an electron right there. Let's bind them up. And when we do that, we see that they're all um, charged, or not charged, but they have the octet. And who specifically has that negative? Well, it's the carbon, literally gained one electron. So this one has the negative charge. Now from here, we have to figure out, well, what's going on? Well, this comes by our knowledge from the last chapter by saying, okay, H3O plus, we've seen that a lot of times, right? This is basically known as H plus. And H plus or H3O plus is always an acid. So if you have an acid in your solution, the other one has to be acting as a base. So this is basically going back to acid base reactions. Remember, the acid will always lose one of the hydrogen, and the base will always gain the hydrogen that the acid lost. So in essence, one of these hydrogens comes off of the H3O plus and arrives at the CH3, making it CH4. And we can always do that because the base will always have one lone pair. When the hydrogen leaves, these electrons don't come with it. It's just the hydrogen without any electrons. And that's okay because this, these two electrons make the bond. So these electrons start the whole process, Right? They say, hey, I want this hydrogen. Let me go and grab it. But where do these electrons go? Well, this bond has to break. And how we write breaking is we draw an arrow going back to the other element. The electrons are always going to go back to the more electronegative element between the two of them. So let's see. This lost the one hydrogen. So now it's just oxygen. And I don't care about uh, I don't I don't care about geometry here. Just try to make it as simple as possible. So it seems like we have the two electrons here. We have the one bond. 
And these electrons, remember, one was a red, one was a blue. So I'm just going to show you that that's still the same. One was a blue and one was a red. But now they're just a pair. And this is water. So that's, that's one of my answers. And H2O is always neutral. And now let's just see who else we made. Well, this gained the hydrogen. And maybe if I can, let's see. I'm going to take this, copy this. Whoop. Let's see, maybe I can scooch this over a little bit. Have this come over, beautiful. And now these electrons are not a lone pair anymore. They are the bond with that hydrogen. And if we did the formal charges, this is a neutral compound. This is just CH4. And that is the answer. So the whole balanced equation would be H3O plus plus CH3 minus yields H2O plus CH4. And that is the Lewis structures for all of them. Okay, what'd you think? I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I'm looking forward to helping you out with new uh, lessons in the future. And in the meantime, tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys, so thank you very much. I will be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.